Python on Hardware News. There is so much going on this week. This is going to be a big chunk of the show. And I uh, had to break it up into lots of different pieces. So here's some big news. PyCon Python. is coming up May 1st to 9th. Last year we were a sponsor. Um, everyone who is a participant, over 3,000 people, got a Gemma, specifically programmed with CircuitPython. This year... Um, we got a few things going on. First up, this is the countdown uh, timer that we have an upcoming product yeah, called Pi Portal. I'll even zoom in. So this is this is real. This is right now. This is uh, uh, running Circuit Python on Pi Portal, and this is saying there's 53 days, 12 hours, and 31 minutes. And then the Pi Portal underneath that is what displays during the event, and it's Dan, Catney, uh, and Scott. And I just put that on another device just to show what it would. So, so when this, when in 53 days, 12 hours and 31 minutes, it's going to display this? It's going to display that, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, I might make other ones, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll check in with the, the PyCon um, Pi Portal. This uses JSON, gets uh, time live on the internet. Yes. And then it does some cool stuff in Python, and then it does a countdown clock. Ding dong. You can swap out the graphics. Doing something like this in any other platform is really hard. This took five minutes. Yes. So um, why is this a big deal, and why do we need a countdown? Well... Um, because we need to make like 5,000 or so Circuit Playground Expresses special edition DigiKey and Adafruit are teaming up and everyone at PyCon is getting a DigiKey Adafruit Circuit Playground Express with CircuitPython on it and a bunch of goodies. Um, thank you so much DigiKey for helping this happen. This is thousands of people. This will be one of the biggest chunks of Circuit Playground Expresses that are going out in the world. We're uh, considered the swag bag sponsorship and uh, I want to thank DigiKey for helping um, out of all the electronic distributors out there there's one right now that I can say that's helping get Python into the hands of the most people out there and doing a lot of good for the communities that are out there and that's DigiKey so thank you so much DigiKey um, we'll have more information about this we have a lot of work to do because uh, we only have this many days to make no, that it's many. One, oh, my God, it just went down. <laughs> it's one less minute. Yeah, we have one, one less minute to do all this stuff. we so, hurry up. Um, get so anyways, on it. There'll be a lot of interesting things. We'll post up all this, and, um, you know, if you, if you want to say thank you to DigiKey in some way, um, please do. Say um, thanks, DigiKey. They, they, are, they went above and beyond yeah. to help out, and they're so excited because they know, just as we know, that, Python is the you know number one growing programming language. It's coming to hardware. It makes it really easy to program hardware. Firmware development will be Python soon. Yeah. You know we don't predict the future. We just accurately describe <laughs> what's happening right now. Yeah. But all the new all the new hardware that we see, people are like, oh, you program it in Python. That's what people want to do with hardware yeah. with IoT. We can't be trusted with C. I mean, I love the language, but like we just can't be trusted with it. We can't manage memory buffers. We need something with exceptions. We need something that does memory management for us. Python is it. It's easy to use. It's so powerful. It's a perfect match for hardware. So the best way to predict the future is to look around and put it in a weekly newsletter. Ding. That's what I found. Um, so we're still working on Python 4. It's in very We're getting closer. Beta, beta um, 2. I want to say thank you to everyone for um, hitting the star button on our GitHub repo, github.com forward slash Adafruit forward slash circuit Python. Um, we hit a thousand stars. And we also use that for... This is kind of our big news. Um, we'll be uh, launching Pi Portal very soon. This is a low-cost IoT device. It can do cool things like figure out how many things you have on GitHub, like stars. Um, it can do things like display your views on YouTube and subscribers. Um, the beginning of the show, I had a video. This looks at a site that has a, a little bit of computery data called JSON, and it'll display it by reaching out on the internet and it'll show how many people are in space. Turns out there's three. Three. Um, we made <laughs> we didn't hard code it, though. It really does look it up. <laughs> we made an Ask an Engineer countdown. Uh, we showed how many people were online on Discord. On Valentine's Day, we made an internet-connected Valentine's. This is the Evil Mad Scientist ones. I have the capacity yeah, to they, love you. Yeah, they this have is, some hilarious engineering Valentine's. Yeah, and uh, this was a little, little quick video that I made that just shows um, it booting up and then going out and getting this information um, this uses Twitter, and it gets the quotes from uh, Dune Quote Bot, which is really neat. And I had all these custom graphics. This was really easy to make. Um, this is a preview of maybe one of the most advanced conference badges that can do things like display QR codes and show calendar 
and link off to your LinkedIn profile or whatever else you want to do. It shows up as a USB drive, just like all of our other Circuit Python devices. Um, we also have uh, this is Bitcoin. This shows you live data right now. This is what the number only goes down. No, just yeah, <laughs> turns out um, we posted this up on the Python. Uh, Reddit, and we showed the number of subscribers on the Python Reddit, and then this got upvoted to the number one post, and then the subscribers went up. Sweet. Um, so that worked out. So that's that's a preview of what's going on with PyPortal. We'll have a little bit more about it later, but that is um, what we're up to now. Um, Mikey Sklar did a cool project. It's on the blog. This is if you wanted to have blue lights in the morning when you wake up and kind of orangey, you know, sunset lights. It's like real life flux. So we actually posted yeah. about it in, in the a biohacking newsletter and I was like, that's a cool project. Why yep. don't you write it up? And he did. Um, we'll be posting this soon. This is a circuit Python booth, boot sequence helper guide. Um, this is a chart that Mike Burrell made. Um, our other big news is um, we met the folks who run Python Discord. This is the largest Python community on Discord. Um, and they have an excellent group of helpers. And so if you want to, go to pythondiscord.com and you can join there. And we have like an exchange with our helpers and their helpers. So you'll be able to get Python help with them. And you'll be able, if you are on that server, get help uh, with your microcontroller project. So we have a channel over there. Of course, I had to make this. This showed how many people were online on the Python Discord. And then about 13,000 people. It's a really big, giant group of helpful folks that help people learn Python. Okay. Um, in our newsletter, this uh, was on Twitter. Thank you, dear Adafruit, for inspiring the next round of Splendor. This is a lot of kids using Circuit Python. I think it looks like crickets, crickets and yep. they're making robots. So if you posted up this cool trick, this is if you happen to have a lot of code. This is using Evernote. Um, so so if you post this up, we have this in the newsletter. If you're keeping track of your code, this is a good way to do it. Very handy. It's good because also it's online. So no matter where you are, you can yeah. always get to your like favorite code snippets. I've been following this. Uh, this is uh, like Snack neat. DE. It's an Snack. IDE for um, development. We cover all types of Python on hardware. Yeah, it's like micro, micro, micro Python. Yeah, it's it's, tiny, 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 tiny Python. It's ultra that tiny. That runs on an AVR. Yeah. You know. um, then this is uh, coming along soon, so you'll see it. This is the Grow, the, the GrowGuard giant board, and it's a coming soon, but it's almost done. It's Linux on a Feather format, and it runs Circuit Python. This is some other Python on hardware news. This is another quote. This is an OLED bonnet, so use a Raspberry Pi, and you could display quotes from around the web. This was a really cool uh, command line thing that you could do to control your Raspberry Pi anywhere. It's from um, dataplicity.com. Yeah. So if you're looking to do um, device control and management and upgrades, uh, I thought that was neat, so I put that in there. Um, really neat e-ink display. This is a smart calendar display with Raspberry Pi. Um, and then, of course, this is a theremin that if you wanted to uh, do something neat with a Raspberry Pi, you could. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Yeah, this is a lot of bleepy. And it was celebrating GPI Zero, which Ben from Raspberry Pi yes. had posted about in uh, on the Made with Moo blog by Nicholas. Um, this was a pleasant surprise. Uh, we act, we're just talking to the folks about this now. Um, we saw this on CrowdSply. It's an upcoming Raspberry Pi hat that uses Seesaw and Circuit Python. It's from Robotic Masters. It's called the MMH hat, and it's an open source robotics controller. And they're primarily gearing this towards people who want to do self-driving cars. Yeah, interesting. So, it's, a, it's, a, it's a specific kind of like a donkey car or something. And yeah. It's kind of neat. So it's specifically for a self-driving car, which is good because yep. we have a cricket hat and we have a motor hat, but neither are like really car centric. So it's going to be yep. interesting to see what do people who self-driving cars really need. Okay. Um, there is a Windows installer for Raspberry Pi 3. So you can install full Windows 10 ARM64 onto a Raspberry Pi. That sounds really cool because it used to be just IoT, yeah. but now it's actually Windows. And this is a cute MicroPython project. Um, this is the BNO. And this is a really neat file system that's on here where you can click through to the different files and you can see each .py. And then when you get to the one that you want, you can um, display it. And then this is a cube um, that runs on it. So you can choose you know, cube.py. Yeah. All right. Um, lots of stuff going on with Moo. Um, Nicholas did a poll. Should uh, we keep? Older version of Python, or drop it, drop it. So drop it. you'll see that there is a um, upcoming um, Moo 
soon? Because Moo comes with, you know, the, the Python inside yeah. of it. It's a kind of enclosed version, so it doesn't actually matter. Yep. You can't really change There's it. There's a bunch of slides. If you're thinking about Moo and you're going to be doing a presentation or want to learn more, I think we'll set some slides about that. Brent did a talk um, yesterday. And uh, you can read more about it, and I believe there's some slides and more, so look on the blog. Pi Cascades is coming up this weekend. You heard about that. Scott put out the call for anyone to come meet up with him. Um, he'll have you'll you'll know it's Scott because he has everything running Circuit Python on his keyboard sticking out of his backpack. Um, so check that out. And there also will be a talk from Nina about Python on hardware. So there's a lot going on in events, and that's just to get started. Um, there is a talk. This is the uh, Anita Borg Grace Hopper Local. And this talk um, has, uh, let's see, Vicky is going to be doing demoing MicroPython and MicroBit and CircuitPython on a Circuit Playground Express. So that is February 27th. In Dublin. In Dublin. Um, there's also another event. If, in, like right now, we're almost hitting all the globe. Uh, February 23rd, um, that's coming up. Uh, this is in Rhode Island, Intro to Python, Circuit Python, and Circuit Playground Express by um, Ocean State Maker Mill. Um, we have our usual uh, libraries and more, um, and all the stuff going on. Wait, I've never now. seen the back of the Tux Penguin. Yeah. That's kind of weird. This is like the other side of the moon. I know. What's happening? Uh, and then uh, we, we also still have our call for translation. If you're just good at human spoken languages, we're looking for help with getting all the messages. Um, we also have over 10,000 people in Discord now, and a lot of it is because they're going there for circuit Python stuff. So this was the other PyPortal project that I built. Uh, this was to make sure I could see at a glance how many people are on our Discord server, because sometimes there's a lot, and I want to hop in what's going on over there, or sometimes I want to know what time of the day. So this was, I put it on this little um, spinny thing just to show, because there's no wires. It's wireless. It's battery powered. And this was to show that you could uh, get data like that very easily on a low-cost IoT device and use Python to glue it all together. All right, I was going to get a hint it up a little oh, yeah. bit. Okay, 1320 yeah, almost. Yeah, that's how many we had up there. Um, this is all in awesome Circuit Python. That's our um, GitHub repo that anyone can contribute. We have a, in case you missed it, where you can catch up with all these things. And I'm pleased to announce that we hit 5,000 subscribers on Adafruit Daily Python and Microcontrollers. It's our fastest growing newsletter ever. And it's not just for Python microcontrollers. It also covers a lot of Python news, too. Yeah. Like a lot of good stuff. So it's it's a good mix of hardware, software, Python, microcontrollers, MicroPython, CircuitPython, Snack, yep. all that good stuff. I read it. I learned something new. You'll, you'll, you'll be exposed to some really cool uh, libraries and projects from it, the Python community. It's a collection of all the cool things that a lot of people are doing, and that's why it's good, because it takes the best and the good and puts it all in a nice format. It's only the good. <laughs> yeah. We just we just skimmed the good right off yeah. and just buttermilked it. All right. So that's Python on hardware this week. It's a lot. Okay.